What is going on everyone and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. So as you see, my character is a little bit different. I spent a couple of hours off recording, uh, completely changing up my build. So I'm going to be showing you guys that. And we're going to be queuing in for some dungeons, so that could take a while. I don't know what it's about this game, but get finding a dungeon group in here takes longer than in World of Warcraft. And... As you know, in Warcraft, if you're playing a DPS, the queue time is like a couple of hours. And here it's pretty much just as bad. Alright, so first of all, uh, I did record a little bit today earlier, so we're not going to be doing those dailies. Um, I guess we'll just... Wait, hold on. What is our daily? Um, better Encrypt of Hearts and Fungal. Okay. Better encrypt and fungal. I hate fungal so much. Encrypted parts, you just need a lot of DPS, which uh, with my new build, we really don't have. And everyone's just spamming the fuck out of skills, so you guys, this may be a little bit loud. Let's get to a quieter area. Alright, so um, before we used to use a new. The old set, the Hunting's Rage. I'm still gonna hold on to it, just because I might use it. But um, uh, now I use the Twice Born Star set, and mostly just to have the extra uh, two Munda Stones and extra resources, I guess. And then my four piece set is the Night Mother. I dropped about like 200,000 gold just to switch over, uh, and I'm not even done yet either. So the rings itself, they're not. Like the jewelry, that's not done. We just need more damage for that. Uh, the weapons itself, um, we used it for the critical and the set pieces. It's similar to the Hunting's Rage, but you see how it's like 648, 911, 648. This one is 664, just because it's uh, slightly higher. And yeah, I want more weapon damage. But mostly uh, the Twice Born Star one. Getting the full 160 or 160 champion points is way too expensive right now. I'd be dropping like half a million gold just to do that. Um, so with that said, we switched over to a dual uh, one-handed. So two-hand weapons. Uh, our two-hander is still in the second bar. I'm still going to switch that one out. But our thingy is here. We're just going to be using dual wield for the most part. I did spend like 20 grand just to, in gold, just to respec all my skills. So, this is our main bar. And then this is our second bar, of course, with the heals and stuff. And then DPS bar. I don't know why I have that one. I'm just kind of like trying to level it up. So, it's only at level 28 because I started using dual wield today. And the main abilities we're going to be using is rending slashes, steel tornado. Uh, so my damage isn't as high because all of these aren't even maxed out yet. And what other things I put on is, is, where is it? Fighter's Guild, we use Trap Beast. Uh, that one's on the second bar. We just throw it down. I, I don't think you can throw down skills in the middle of town. But yeah, half of these skills aren't even morphed. So that's why I like it off huge change so are we still in queue yeah we are okay so with that said I guess we can go do some random nonsense while we're waiting for things to start and then our ulti I don't know why I use Dawnbreaker but if I were to pick something I'd do solar disturbance and just the usual and the second one is meteor or the shooting stars but I'm just trying to level up my dual wield so far. And pretty much all of this was the expensive part. And then the weapons. Uh, just to get this up to legendary, I'm going to need like another 14 tampering alloys. And that's going for like 6,000 each. So like, like 60... Another 80,000, which I'd rather not spend, to be completely honest. So since we're here, um, 
I can't really show you anything right now because the damage isn't even that high. Because the build is incomplete. But that's what I'm going to be using from now on. But let's see. What kind of quest do we have? I guess we can do some contracts over here to level up while we're waiting for the queue. I think you can be in another zone or like area while you're queuing and still do it. Okay. I'm not really sure what I want to keep on this one, but the other weapons when I use it, it just looks so weird having two daggers like that. They're Daedra. I still think that's the coolest one. Hmm. Hello there. All right, where's our target? Hopefully, you are not in an odd spot. By the way, there's something right here if you ever need that quest for the Master Thief. Earlier today, we actually maxed out our ledger domain, so thank God we never have to do that again. I see our target. Can you jump? Alright, you just stay there. Please, give me the Blade of Woe option. This <laughs> dude just comes out of nowhere. Kind of bad because there are guards here. It's here. What the heck? These citizens think we're doing nothing. I've never seen that before. I thought I had a potion somewhere where that made me invisible for a little bit. It's here. times do I have to reprimand you? Fuck. I accidentally used it. Oh god. My mood is like a winter's good choice. I didn't really have that much to steal anyway, but we got it. Pretty much just going to attempt to level up and while we're waiting, just continue to do bounties. All right. Yeah. 
So, since we don't use that anymore, I might as well just switch out this entire weapon on my first bar. You guys are about to see how long queues take for DPS. It's unbelievable. Like, I was actually legitimately thinking of switching just to main healer, just to get into dungeons faster. How is my bow? I think bow is 50. Yeah, very good. Most of this stuff is 50 from just playing through the game. Yeah, except for dual wield. I never really did that. Reaper's March. I still wonder why the queues take so long. I mean, I'm queuing for the daily dungeons. That means, like, everyone has the same things for today. I just did random normal just because it's slightly easier and you get like the same reward I believe for doing it once. So Reaper's March. Where is it? I still need to put stuff into the helmet for uh, stamina. So I might go do that after this. Oh my god. You know what? I'm just going to queue for a veteran. I feel like more people do that. Alright, where's our target? Oh, there you are. Does not fly normally. Come and do business. Actually, since we're here, let's see. Does it? Does this place have a enchanting? Hello. It does. All right. It's over here. Let's go to it. Oh, it's outdoor. Okay. Mm. Alright, so we'll just use purples for now. Stamina. I think it's reinforce. Yeah, I think so. Let's just... So that one's 150. Ooh. Yeah, I was crafting some before and then ran out of the gold ones. You can always uh, change it up later, so it doesn't really bother me if I just use purples for now. I'm literally getting a free 1600 stamina. So stamina is at 30,000 right now. Um... I was thinking about taking out 10 points and just putting it all into there, but then I was just like, yeah. And then we can have two Mundus Stones now, thanks to our new set. 
which is the five set for twice born star I honestly feel like whatever this 54 this means absolutely nothing why is my Wait, why does the bow just have so much more is it Let me just check something to make sure I have the weapons on the right socket. Um, dual wield. Increases weapon damage by 6%. Offhand weapons. Reduced cost. I'm itching for some action. There's nothing to do <laughs> while we queue into this. And I can't even go into Cyrodiil while I'm queuing, otherwise I'll cancel out. Um, to be honest, since my health is a lot lower than normal, I don't think I could take these bosses. I'll try it, but I don't think I can do it because my build is incomplete right now. I don't even know what level this area is. I should have paid attention to that. But Reaper's March is Wait to see how much damage this does once it's completely maxed. Ooh, I take so much damage from that. Actually hurts. 29, what do I get? Nothing. Yeah, something tells me I'm not going to be able to do this. I just took so much damage from a mini thing. And now 14,000 health. Alright, I'm prepared to die though. Oh, he just recovers. So squishy. Can't kill stuff. Well, I can, I can do damage. I just can't survive that well. I need a oh, Jesus. All right. Well, anyway, we're we'll back to the Gold Coast. So let's see. Need more. How can I improve it in a way? I would say, since these are all stamina based. Oh no, this build just really works better with 
the heal, more heals. Rit. It's okay. Does no one actually do dungeons anymore, or is like, what is going on with this game? I thought dungeons and PvP are the only thing people do. Good. We were just at Reaper's March. I wish you could see, like, how much armor you have that's besides physical resistance means absolutely nothing. Just go to the main town and just start asking for a group. I think we should be okay. <laughs> 